Yes, GQ, what's going on? It's your boy, Lil Kana, and these are my 10 essentials. My notebooks, probably from this last album and a little bit of the one before. I really prefer to write in my in my book as, as opposed to write on my phone because when I, you know, erase my line, the line still exists. Whereas on your phone, if you erase what you're writing, then it's gone forever. And then if you go back, maybe there was space for it to use it as a chorus or a title or a kid's book or whatever you want to use it for, do you know what I mean? So yeah, I like to kind of leave footprints. Hopefully I'll be able to give them to my son one day. No distraction, like when I open this, it doesn't go like, you know, someone said you've got a double chin or someone said that your mum's fat or whatever, you know, it's just like, I'm just in the books. It's like just the whole page that just says drug free, which is what I am, you know, but don't need to put it in two pages. I mean, that's a lot of real estate for a notebook. For my last album, I wrote a review before I started working on my album. It was something I got from Questlove. There's a book by Questlove that's called The Creative Quest. And in it, he says that, you know, on, on every album, I think from Things Fall Apart by The Roots, which is one of my favorite albums of all time, he wrote a review because it kind of helped him, you know, on reading it back and throughout the album process, it would keep him on track. That was, what, that was my old title, that's what I was going to call my last album as well. Hurt People, Hurt People. A line I got from a poet called Lem Cisse, from his book, My Name Is Why. What I love the most is when I'm recording, if you get to hear this noise, that's my favourite. And I listen for it for other rappers as well, to know if they're really about it or not. My baby bag, every parent knows. Nappies. You always think that you don't need money and then it's that day where it's like a mountain of shit. These are easy nappies. These are just um, ones that you can wear as a hat. Beaker, there's a bear on my chair. A classic. This is my son's favorite magic wand, which is the most important part of the baby bag, really. This is the elder one owned by Albus Dumbledore. If you know, you know. And my son's favorite spell is Expelliarmus or Expecto Patronum. He's got into a crazy pocket at the moment, actually, where it'd be like Havada Kedavra, which is obviously the killing curse in Harry Potter, if you don't know. And so I would die, and the only way to come back to life was he'd have to kiss me on the head. But now I've started doing it with him, where even if on the street, if I hit him with an Expelliarmus or whatever, he dies, like, on, on the street. There's nothing you can do about it. Paddington Bear, which comes with me on tour, and I try to get photos with him everywhere I can. You know, my son can't travel with me everywhere, but as long as Paddington is there, I guess he's there in spirit. It's nice to kind of have a piece of him with me. What else is in there? Simple stuff. Greatest fruit known to man, orange. No offense to John Berthnall, who did one of these and said grapefruit. I also have in my phone, which comes with me everywhere, a picture of my, um, my son and my girlfriend and me in a little photo booth on Brighton Pier. And my son and my girlfriend really are my, uh, my world, you know, my earth, so my everything. Very lucky to have them. Shout, shout to my, my guys. <laughs> I got into Muay Thai just after my son was born because I got a serious dad body. And after that, I needed to fix up, really. But I always wanted to, yeah, I always wanted to get into fighting. I think more for my head to kind of find some peace as opposed to like go and be aggressive. It gave me like discipline. A good friend of mine said to me once, um, my friend Barney told me that freedom without discipline is just chaos. I was living in chaos before. And I think now, you know, I've, I've found some discipline. And I love that all you need is these things. And I take these with me on tour. I skip. Either I hit the bag or I just hit the wall, you know, or just hit the air. Who knows, isn't it? Soon, me on a, on a YouTuber fight. No, I'm joking. Everyone needs to get hit in the face once. I know a lot of people who need to get hit in the face. Chessboard. We made these for the release of my album. These are lyrics from one of the songs, actually. Pawn to E4, Bishop C4, that's light work. Queen to F3, I can see more, my best days. My heart banging out my chest plate. Queen to F7, that was checkmate, which is a thing called the scholar's, scholar's mate, which is like the baitest chess move. It's what my dad beat me with. My dad was the one who taught me to play chess. And it's, yeah, it's like how you win chess in four moves against a rookie. Through learning to play chess, you're also learning all these different things that I lined out, you know? So he's teaching me how to be patient, how to plan the next steps ahead. So it was kind of almost like inadvertently, he was preparing me for fatherhood. But yeah, I also love it just because it's not online. You know, I hate being on on the internet or whatever, so anything I can do, except for FIFA. I'm happy to be online when I'm playing FIFA. The only person I beat who was supposed to be quite good was that guy, Magnus Carlsen. I beat him in like four moves. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Who have I beat? An Ottolenghi I've played. Quickly wiped it. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I actually don't remember, which means I probably lost. My next essential is an EpiPen. Oh, fuck, I just realized I've left that at home. Can I give, can I brush my keys? Um, if you go to my sink, yeah. Yeah, it's an essential. I bring it everywhere, you know? My next essential is an EpiPen. It's just a shot of adrenaline because I'm allergic to nuts. I'm also allergic to tahini, but not sesame seeds, weirdly. So you pull this out, it like releases a little, like a little needle. 
and then you just jab it in essentially your bum cheek you know wait for it to click wait three seconds and pull it out and you should be right as rain but don't use it if you haven't had an allergic reaction i know what you kids are into sports bag johnny ready for anything for me swimming you know you're focusing on your breath and just be able to think, clear my head, relax, and exercise at the same time. My rollerblades, Bowers, man. The first pair of Bowers I had, they were ice skates. My dad got them for me. Because um, it was the one thing me and my dad used to do, actually. He used to take me ice skating. And then when we reconnected, I got my dad a pair. And now we, uh, sometimes we hit the park and go skating together. I have always been a Liverpool fan. And back when Crystal Palace was in the Premier League, they were my local club. So I had two teams because I wanted to watch match of the day. For a long period of time, I wanted to be a football player, but I just wasn't, I wasn't good enough. I play right wing back. That's why I like to play like Trent, Alexander Arnold. Who do I think is going to win the FA Cup? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Liverpool, we had a great time. We had a great run. But it's getting harder and harder to watch right now, so. <sighs> Next question. <laughs> it's actually a work of art, man. Yo, I have maybe like 300 of these or something. I don't know. I'm wearing one now, actually. The perfect collar, good length of sleeves, not too baggy. No diss to any of the other ones, you know. Whoever you are, Gildan, Fruit of the Loom, I don't care. You're cool, but you're not pro club. I don't, I don't want to talk about V-necks. Or the, like, the weird, like, DJ Khaled one, you know, the one that goes down like that. <laughs> miss me, miss me with it. The reason why I wear plain white t-shirts is because that pocket of time when I grew up, all of my favorite rappers, that's all they were wearing, man. Ludacris is probably my star icon from back in the day. Him, Pharrell Williams, those guys. <laughs> Queen olives with cumin and lemon. You know, any olives are cool, particularly green ones, but these ones right here, you know, I can eat them all. I will probably eat them all. I don't really eat sweets, I don't really eat chocolate. I just like salty things. So I like these, I like popcorn, I love crisp. Crisp is really like my kryptonite. But you know, I'm trying to be a role model on this, you know? So I could have chosen crisps. But then what am I showing the next generation, you get me? Liquid paraffin, 50-50. Also in here, what's there? Parking ticket. I got really sensitive skin, and when I was growing up, it used to get super dry because I had eczema. And when I found this cream, I just began to glow, bro. To get the little kind of look, man, you just gotta get no sleep, get woken up at like 4.30 to change nappies, wake up, don't get a chance to eat breakfast, run out the door, grab your cream and just <laughs> dash it up. And recently I've been using um, uh, Human Race by Pharrell Williams, so I, I cleanse now. I'm a cleansing person. First got introduced to the carrot juice when I was maybe like five or six with my mum. My mum was super healthy, super holistic, and I wasn't allowed Coca-Cola or Coca Pops or chewing gum or sweets or anything. But I was always allowed carrot juice. And I don't know, it reminds me of spending time with her in the park. Yeah, I love it. It's everything. It's the it's juice. It's sweet, not too sweet. Pack full of vitamin C, do you know what I mean? Ginger in there. It's, it's magic, bro. And I can see in the dark as well. I stopped drinking when my girlfriend fell pregnant because she stopped drinking. And then it just stuck. I loved the feeling of not drinking. And then I kind of replaced alcohol with happiness. And I'm the happiest I've ever been. Be grateful for your essentials. Peace.